and the holidays is supposed to be a cheerful time, but for some it can be difficult, especially if a loved one is no longer here. That's why one local business is making sure that the community has a place to have a moment in time to dedicate Christmas ornaments in remembrance of that special someone. A good memory. It's about a good memory. That's the idea Mary Haverty is trying to create, introducing a memory tree for the holidays. It's a difficult time for everybody, and we want to remember that even though you've lost a loved one, they're not very far away. As long as they're in your thoughts, they're just a memory away. That's all. Making an ornament doesn't just have to be in remembrance of a person. We had, actually it was a, a, a small child that wanted to do one for their dog and when it came time to put it on the tree, that little, that little boy really couldn't part with that ornament. So he ended up taking his ornament home, which was absolutely fine. If you really want to take your ornament home, that's okay. You can take that home. Haverty notices that the memory tree also serves as therapy. Again, it's a great project for a family to remember a, a lost or a, somebody that you've lost and bring everybody in and sit and talk about your loved one while you're making the ornaments and have a little bit of laughter while you're doing it and um, just memorialize them. The Beagle family were some of the first participants this week. I made it for great grandma in heaven. Okay. My name is Carly Beagle and I made mine for Ash, my baby brother in heaven. My name is Madison and I made mine for a different great grandma in heaven. Crow Memorials is open Monday through Friday for anyone who would like to come in and make an ornament for the holidays. Haverty plans on saving all of the ornaments so that residents can see their loved ones placed on the tree each year. She hopes to have the entire building filled with memory trees next year.